name is Sylvia Najinda, the Navagereka, or Queen of Buganda Kingdom. I bring to you greetings from His Majesty the Kabaka and the people of Buganda. Buganda Kingdom is situated in central Uganda. Unlike the rest of Uganda, the kingdom is endured with a beautiful environment. Accepting to be the patron of the network of Africa Women Environmentalists, NAWI, was so easy for me because of how intertwined environment is to culture. It is therefore important for us to work with the UN as we focus on the environment and address the climate change as embedded in the UN Declaration Decade for Ecosystem Restoration 2020 to 2030. Uganda Kingdom has for some time championed the revival of Ubuntu Bulam, human values as rooted in the African philosophy of Ubuntu. The more we interface with these values, the more we realize how intertwined it is to environmental protection. Ubuntu Bulam is a measure of civility that manifests a mannerism that deeply respects nature and in the process leads to protection of everything in the environment. People that respect nature are truthful, share and have empathy and this is because God is nature. On behalf of the Kingdom of Uganda, as we revive Ubuntu Bulam, I look forward to working with the UN and other cultured leaders as we restore our culture through restoration of the ecosystem restoration. In Africa, traditional and culture practices have played and continue to play a crucial role in conserving the environment and also our food systems. The landscape I choose is Lake Victoria, known as Nalu Valley, the third largest lake in the world and largest in Africa. It is the chief reservoir of the Nile with so many tourist sites and shared by the three East African countries, Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania. Because of the economic activities around Lake Victoria, it is in grave danger due to uncontrolled pollutants. This therefore necessitates immediate action. I'm happy to see that despite the COVID-19 challenges we're facing today, we are moving on to protect our environment. As such, I envision for the future, a healthy, thriving and sustainable lake benefiting both man and nature. I'm delighted to be part of the launch of this new initiative, Earth Science Cafe, with an objective of connecting science and society. Together, we will restore the environment.